excited that you guys have joined me for this week's devotional. We're going to have a great time because this week we are talking about being fully committed. Do you know someone that is fully committed? I, I actually happen to have birthed out one of these personalities. Yes, I said birthed out. Uh, my daughter, Carly, she's five years old, and she is fully committed. Whatever, yeah, this is, this is my dog, Lucy, getting off of my lap. But whatever it is that she is going to do in life, She's going to do she's going to do it like 110%. If she's going to make a mess, it's going to be the best mess that you have ever seen in your entire life. If she's going to play soccer, then when she's out there, she's full force. I mean, whatever it is, the child is fully committed and and I love that so much about her. Uh, and I look at that in my own life and I, I think about, it, you know, I like to evaluate and really just be honest with myself on a regular basis because it's important. It's important for self-evaluation and to just really be honest with you about you. And uh, in this last week in looking at my own life and being honest to me about me, I said, Anna, are you fully committed? Are you fully committed in your marriage to seeing your marriage grow and thrive that you know every day, every hour, every month, you want your marriage to reflect uh, just the love of Jesus Christ. You want it to get to get better. Are you fully committed in parenting? Are you fully committed on those days where it's really hard to parent? Are you fully committed uh, with what God has called you to do to then running with that and running this race, just giving it your all to the best of your ability? Are you fully committed to loving the Lord with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your mind? Because let's just stop right there. That's where it begins. You see, some of us, we just need to be committed. If you've not received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you have not made that profession of faith that Jesus is Lord, that he died on the cross, that he rose from the grave, and that you have asked him to be Lord over your life and then committed your life to him, well, that's your first step. Then there are some of us that we need to recommit where we've been weary or tired and life has been tough or it's just you've been going through some things and you've wanted to give up. You need to recommit your life to the Lord. Recommit to what it is that he's calling you to do and begin to press in. And then become fully committed to what God is calling you to do. In Proverbs chapter 16, verse 3, and this is where the Lord led me for this week. I'm going to first read it in the Amplified. It says, commit your works to the Lord. Submit and trust them to him. And your plans will succeed if you respond to his will and guidance. Commit your works to the Lord. You gotta, every single day, not just you, me, we have to submit and trust just our lives over to the Lord. God, I am submitting my marriage to you. So Lord, what does that look like? How do you want me to serve my spouse? God, I am submitting this schoolwork to you. God, I'm submitting my dreams, my desires, this vision. Lord, I'm submitting everything to you and God, I'm gonna trust them to you. God, I'm going to commit my children to you. And whenever I do that, he says, and your plans will succeed if you respond to his will and guidance. When we first commit our lives to the Lord, submit and just trust them, roll everything over to him. He says that he will cause our plans to succeed when we follow his will and guidance. So what does that look like every day? That means every day, God, I'm putting you in charge over my life. And with that, I'm going to respond to your will and your guidance. What is it that you want me to do for my marriage this week? What is it that you want me to do in raising my children? You see, God has blessed us with all of these wonderful things. And then we'll just go about our lives not ever asking him or submitting things, going to him to see what we should do about it all. When that's the very first thing that we need to do. I've got a busy week this week. I'm super excited about it all, but I recognize that today, God, I'm giving you my week. I'm submitting every part of it over to you. Why? Because God, you care for me. God cares for you. He loves you and he wants to help you with every part of your life. Every part of your day to day needs to belong to Jesus. I really like what it says in the message, Proverbs 16, 3 in the message, put God in charge of your work, put, put God, there we go, in charge of your work, then what you've planned will take place. 
Proverbs 16.3 in the NLT. Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to commit it all to Him. We're going to roll it on over to Him. We're going to trust in Him. And praise God, we're going to hear His will. We're going to follow His will, His guidance. And I'm so thankful that I serve a Heavenly Father, that He listens, that He's there, and that He answers me. He's here. He's, he's here for you. He loves you. And he's going to help you every step of the way this week. Go ahead and give it on over to Him. All right, I love you guys. It is going to be a great week, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about what God is doing. Thank you so much for just joining me and being a part of this. If uh, you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, follow me on uh, Pretty for Jesus on Facebook, and let's just connect together and see God's kingdom grow. All right, love you all. Have a great week. Bye.